Hi, welcome back to another Terrence Gaves video. Uh, today I wanted to revisit the flexible roads. Um, if you hadn't seen my previous video on it, you might want to take a look. Um, these are cast in urethane rubber, which allows them to remain flexible in use. You could lay them over hills and such. And uh, what I want to do today is a real short video just to show you a new piece that I've added to the set, a proposed new piece that I'd like to add and I'd like to get a little feedback on as well as some observations that I've had and a little feedback from um, some customers who've had them in use um, so we could talk about maybe some care and storage and some things that I've, I've seen. So, um, let's keep this brief and let's get in for a closer look. So first, a quick look at the new piece. Um, it's a four-way intersection. I had a customer who was interested in possibly laying roads for a town or a town square, something like that. So a four-way intersection was needed, and I thought it would be a good addition. Um, the intersection is uh, six inches long on a side, and I kept it really short um, just to make it so that you could make the join and otherwise keep it um, relatively um, nondescript. Um, so there's that. The new potential addition is a road termination point. Now, the, uh, it, it occurred to me actually a while ago, and then I had a follow-up with, um, with the customer who was interested in the four-way intersection about ways to end the road um, without having to bring it right to the table edge. Originally, what I did is I took, uh, as a first try, is I took a, a traditional straight, and then what I did is I just sort of cut it irregularly and then flocked it, you know, sort of fading to the end and really didn't like it at all actually. I mean it gets the job done but it wasn't pretty. Then later on um, when I was casting I, I ran out of rubber and I didn't have enough rubber to fill the entire mold and I had started at one end and it produced this sort of irregular shape at the end. Now this was unintentional so I, I think I can get this a little cleaner in future iterations but right away when I demolded it I thought that's perhaps a bit more of a plausible termination to the road whereby you know it's sort of breaking up and fading out and then I can sort of flock it kind of coming into the center which gives the illusion of the dirt path sort of fading out as it as it leaves. So I'm going to ship this out to the customer free. Um, this is really just a test piece. See what he thinks about it but I wanted to give it to uh, you the viewers see what you think about it. I think with a slightly more careful pour, I could have a, a slightly more uniform edge. Um, but in fact, it produced, because of the way it, it, it went over the edges and flowed on its own, it produced some kind of cracks, which, you know, they're not really tear prone. This is a pretty tear resistant rubber, but it produced, a, I don't know, it's an interesting finish and um, nothing that I really expected. Um, but in any case, it's a possibility for a way to develop um, termination points. And I'm going to list this on the site as an experimental piece. And I might, um, in subsequent pours, try for something slightly different in shape. But um, I think that might be the way to go for the immediate future. Lastly, before I leave this piece, this is a good point to um, showcase. I've been storing these in very abusive ways. I, I made a setup, um, uh, you know, just for myself. And then I've been storing them, you know, draped over each other, folded, um, and a customer recently contacted me and said that he found the roads were not laying flat anymore. Now you can see the way this piece was, this is one of my, I'm just going to throw it in and see how it settles over time. Now that I've had them for a few weeks, um, you can see there is a, just a very slight bulge there. Now it's not much, um, but it, it isn't really resting back on its own. Then I dug into my pile and pulled out one that was horribly creased. <laughs> This piece actually had was folded like this and had quite a bit of weight on it. And that's about as egregious a storage method as you could put these under. And um, what I found actually is that it was not returning back to shape. Um, you can see here it still has a little bit of a bulge there. What I ended up doing actually is putting it in the oven very, very low temperature, warm, uh, you know, say around 100 degrees. And I put a couple quarters on there just to smooth that out, let that sit for an hour. And then over the next couple days, I just left a paint pot on it to see if it would return to its original shape. Now, this has not fully returned to its shape, but these pieces have various thicknesses uh, depending on the way the rubber fills the mold. I, you know, it's hard for me to judge a perfect even pour all the time. And sometimes there's a little bit of a thin spot. This happens to be a thinner spot in the mold. Um, in fact, I don't know if you can, uh, well, I, I'd put it up to the light, but I can see a little light coming through this spot. 
So I think the thinner spots might be a little more prone to this, but it's something I'm going to monitor and continue to sort of observe over time. I did do some stress tests where I did some folds like this, left it for a week, unfolded it, and found that it came out of that fold pretty well within a day or two. But perhaps because this is at the very edge, and perhaps it was such, as a, such an egregious fold, um, that that's really stressing the rubber too much. So certainly when in storage, I recommend storing them flat. And um, as time goes on, I'm, you know, I'm happy to revisit this and see, you know, if there are any problems developing. That's why I've kept a set for myself so that I could see how they age over time. As this is still a new material to me, I haven't been using this for years, and I want to see how it holds up over time. And, you know, should there be any problems, of course, down the road, even a year after purchase, um, if it's a material defect, I'm there to uh, fix it or replace it. So, um, something that I've been keeping my eye on in any case. So that's a quick look at the new pieces. Um, let me know if you think the termination uh, section looks good to you. I'd be happy to hear some feedback from the community on that. Uh, and if you have other ideas about how to make one, um, that's another option as well. And um, I might explore also casting them in um, plastic. I'm gonna, they're very thin sheets, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. But it might be an alternative for people who don't wanna be concerned with storing them or having any deformation and don't really care whether they're flexible. So I'm gonna play around with that a little bit as well. And if I come up with something, of course, I'll share it and come back to you with another video on that. Uh, please feel free to leave comments, questions down below. Happy to answer those. And uh, keep your eye on the channel. I'll be back real soon with another video.